What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we're the full Gossiflua Evolution team. So this team is going to be made up of Gossiflua and Elder Goss. What I'll be doing so I don't have a team of two, I'll be using the shiny variant as well to make a full team of four. I come up with some fun movesets and I got some really great battles. If you do want to check me out on Twitch, people, this is where I do all my live streams, my theme teams, my Pokemon streams, so shiny hunts, all the forms of salty entertainment. Come and check me out at twitch.tv slash pipnightyt. Link in the description of the video. Today we got our uh, two battles. Uh, the first battle, this one, was against Koopa. And we have a double upload tonight. So there'll be uh, uh, obviously there's a battle right now that you're watching right and there'll also be a, uh, a battle later on too once again people if you do enjoy the content please drop a like on the video um it really helps out my channel and my videos and only takes a one second we've got a blip bug lead here and i've got my glossifer we've got an interesting set here we've got a sunny day stun spore sing leaf tornado set now we've got the uh blip bug setting up the sticky web there so it's going to make all of my pokemon quite slow about glossifer and elder goss right both of them, uh, they're, they're really, really slow anyway, so that's not going to matter too much. Except I tried to go for like a speedy one, which I, I actually have, but it's actually not going to be really effective by the sticky web. You'll get to see in a second. So swapping out my Gossifer, and i got to say, Gossifer's shiny looks amazing. Like, I, it's actually in my top 10 shinies for Generation 8. Looks really good, like the, uh, the flower, the green body, and the, the silver sort of... It's, I know it's flower or it's hair. It looks really, really good. We got a struggle bug bit bug here, people. And it is pure content because it's going to be dropping my special attack. Now, this Elder Goss set, we got uh, Max Health and Max Special Attack. Weather Ball, Leaf Storm, Hyper Voice, and Pollen Puff. So going for the Weather Ball there, it's going to turn into a Fire Titan because the sunny day is up. And Blip Bug has got a Focus Sash. So I'm going to need to take it out with an attack after this. The problem is this Blip Bug, right, it keeps dropping my special attack uh, with Struggle Bug because it's got a 100% chance to do so. So I've got the Throat Spray as the item here. I can go for the Hyper Voice and activate the Throat Spray and take it out, which will be very, very good right there. Uh, I've also got the ability effect spawn on this too. So I, once again, as always with these evolution teams, I'm trying to use all the abilities that the evolution line gets right. So we've got like effect spawn, regenerator, cotton down. So we've got some cool abilities here, right? Um, we're almost through all the Gen 8 evolution. I have to say we might have about oh, maybe four. Four or five left. There's only a small amount, which is really cool that I've got to use all of them. Next Pokemon is the uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ryan, Mime Jr. Now, if you do guess the theme team, if you see a theme team, you, you might be able to guess it. Let me know in the comment section below there. I love to hear your feedback. I always read them over having my breakfast and stuff. So even if you just got a comment to say, put it there. I love to hear. So we're going to go for a Leaf Tornado here on the Mr. Rhyme. Oh, my, in the Mr. Mime, the Mime Jr. I'm getting all the mimes mixed up. I have done a Mime Jr. evolution team it was very mimey now the thing about this has got massive special defense uh mime jr if you put an ever light on it it's also got the filter ability too it's, it's also has the opportunity to have filter so i've used mime jr before and it, i know how tanky it is and i'm also using a special elder goss which it's i mean it's all right but it's nothing super amazing now uh mime jr is going to go for a dazzling gleam there i'd say they got everything invested in bulk i'd say Look, uh, I'd say it's probably Max Health and Max Special Events with an Everlight whacked on top of it. Now, the Gossiflu was also uh, the very, very first one. That was Max Health and Max Special Attack there. Uh, just trying to boost as much damage as I can. And I gave it some other status moves. So, Eldegoss is nearly gone here. I thought, well, I may as well just go for Leaf Tornado, try and get as much damage as possible. And, you know, try and take this Mime Junior out because it's so tanky. I'm probably going to need to either hit this with a physical move, which is difficult because I don't know. I've only got one one real physical user on this team or try and use some sort of status on it too, right? So uh, there goes my first Elder Goss, but the, the, I took the blip bug out. That was very important getting rid of that blip bug in Pokemon, right? It was, it was a blip on my radar. Now the next Pokemon I'm going to swap in is going to be my other Gossifer. Now this is, I think this is a very, very um, underestimated, underrated, bulky uh, support Pokemon is ever like Gossifer, right? Now, this has the ability Regenerator, which is great for swapping in and out. And it's also got a lot of status moves, too. So on this set, I've got Leech Seed, I've got Poison Powder. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, why didn't you run Toxic? 
instead of, uh, you know, Poison Powder. It doesn't learn Toxic, so you just got to go for Poison Powder as your, your Poison type move. So we've got the Leech Seed, and we've got the Poison Powder as stacking, uh, you know, damage there. I've also got Giga Drain, and of course, my favorite healing move there. So it's going to last for a fairly long time. The EVs are max health and max defense. It's very bulky. I like to run Grass-type Pokemon as defensive sets. I feel they work much better than uh, special defensive sets out of all their you know, experience I've had in battles. It just works for uh, uh, very much there. So we got this uh, Paralyzed on my Gosper, which is uh, very, very unfortunate right here. I mean, the good thing is I do have the Poison Powder up, so it is doing uh, damage each turn, right? It's not doing badly. It's not badly poison. It's just doing like, you know, the set amount of damage there, which is good for the first couple of turns. Then it's outclassed by Toxic on the third turn. So I've got the Leech Seed up and I've got the uh, Poison up there, which is good. So the little elf is not going to last too much longer again. Speaking of elves, right. How quickly has this year gone? We're almost at, what are we now? October. Ah, uh, man. It, it, well, mate, we'll be Christmas soon. There'll be there'll be Christmas stuff out in the shops if there's not already. I'm not, that'll be kind of weird like in October. It's not even like, yeah, it's not even December yet. But I think they like to put it out a month there. There might be Christmas stuff in the shop. For you people, if, have you seen any Christmas decorations in the shop already? That'd be that'd be crazy if you have. That's like, I feel like that's way, way too early. Anyway, back to the battle there. Uh, the uh, Mime Jr. is going to go down to the Leech Seed. And that is bye-bye. Thank goodness. I, I was thinking I might have had to swap my physical setting, which I didn't really want to use yet, right? Now, the next Pokemon to come in is going to be Jigglypuff, right? And you never know what Jigglypuff is going to do. Now, we've got six Pokemon to deal with here, too. So I've taken out two, but there's still four more, right? You never know what's going to happen. Now, this is bad, right? The uh, Jigglypuff is going to go for a Misty Terrain. So that sort of cancels my plans here of going for a Poison Powder. So that's going to fail, right, under the Misty Terrain. So it's going to be protected by the Mist. Now, I'm thinking right here, okay, well, I can go for Giga Drain. That's... Really, the only thing I can do to Jigglypuff here, right? Because obviously nothing else is going to work. So go for uh, Giga Drain on the Jigglypuff. Actually, does pretty good damage. So it's about a four hit KO, and I'm sustaining my health back a lot, which is great. Uh, now the Jigglypuff is actually going to go for a, a fake tears here, so it's dropping my special defense uh, by two stages. So it's obviously going to use some sort of special move. Um, I mean, I've, I've, I've sort of got an idea what it could use, but I just want to get as much damage as I can in possible. Just in case it uses something different to what I'm expecting. Plus, I don't really want to swap another Pokemon into this at the moment, right? I'm guessing with the Misty Terrain on the field, it was going to use Misty Explosion, right? Now, Misty Explosion is going to get a, uh, an extra bit of base power there from the... Uh, it went from 100 to 150. And since I had, like, negative, like, two or four in uh, Special Defense, I'm going to get dropped there. I've got no investment in Special Defense at all. That was purely defensive, so... Once again, I didn't really want to swap in my Gossiflor and my Elder Goss either, right? Next Pokemon is Salty Cone. I'm a little bit salty about that, have to be uh, honest with you. And we're going to go back to Gossiflor. So I'm thinking right here, well, I can go for a sunny day, uh, or I could just go for a leaf tornado, right? So, like, okay, well, what we'll do is we'll go for the, uh, you know, the leaf tornado. That would probably be the, you know, the best move to go for, right? At least get some damage in the ice cream. I accidentally fat-fingered the, like, the pro controller and pressed, uh, stunt more instead, and it didn't do anything because the misty terrains are, oh, man. Don't you hate it when you misclick? So, and of course, the mist disappears this turn, too, just to rub some extra, like, salt into the world. That's why it's called Salty Cone. There you go, people. There you go. Now, the coast is clear to go for a sing. I was like, okay, let's go for a sing here. Let's put that little ice cream cone to sleep. And it missed. It missed. Now it's going to go for Avalanche here, and Gossifer is going to faint. And Avalanche, actually, this is quite good, right? I, I see why they've called it Salty Cone, right? Because when it uses Avalanche, you can see the salt coming out of the cone. I, I, I don't know if that was done on purpose, but it was very good if it was. So my last point company is Elder Goss. Now, you haven't seen any physical attackers on this team. So let me show you this one. I've got Grassy Glide Facade, Sunny Day, and I've got Growth too. So with Growth, right, if the sun is up, you can get a plus two in attack and special attack. We'll be running about attack with this set, right? Now, my item is Terrain Extender. So what I can do is I can go for Dynamax here, right? I can set the Grassy Terrain up on the field. And let's say I don't even take... A I might take one Pokemon out or two, like, if I'm lucky, one, right? Because, uh, you know, Elder Goss isn't the greatest, uh, you know, attacker in the world. If that happens, right, I can still use Grassy Glide priority. Now, the Ice Cream Cone is going to go boom there at outspeed. You're like, man, what's going on? Jigglypuff went boom. And now the Ice Cream Bar uh, Cone is going to go boom. So it did a fair chunk of damage to me there, right? And it also denied me of setting up the uh, Grassy Terrain, which sucks. 
So we got four more Pokemon. It's like a little baby Pokemon team. And the next Pokemon is Lilybub. So it's like, okay, let's get that max overgrowth. And of course, here's another Thunder Wave just to annoy me, right? I was hoping I didn't get paralyzed here. And thank goodness I get the max overgrowth up on the Lily Pop here, people. Only on people I channel right. So uh it failed <laughs> if it failed to take out the Lily Pop at one shot. And at least I got the grassy terrain up, right. That's gonna be very, very good. Now I would like I sort of like to um use the sunny day combination with the gossip flu at the start too, the shiny one. So like sometimes I won't get a chance to set up that uh, sunny day and then go for growth. But if I've already got the sunny day upright uh, from the leading gossip flu, I can actually just go for growth straight away and get those nice boosts and then Dynamax. That also works. And with the plus two and the grassy terrain right, it really actually you know, starts to do some damage. So Cotton Down is going to come into effect there on the Lilip Up. Cotton Down's not a bad ability. I mean, it's not super amazing. I guess it's sort of like a uh, um, it's like gooey, I guess you could say. Gooey, it's exactly the same as gooey. So, uh, another thing I like about Elder Gust too is when it attacks, the little seeds on its, uh, like the cotton ball, they come out too. It's really, really cool. So, I'm thinking about going for a sunny day here, but I was like, nah, let's just go for the grassy glide. I've got priority even though I'm paralyzed. So, remember at the start of the battle, I was saying, Sticky Web's going to be annoying, but um, I've got a Pokemon that can get around that. This was my way, so priority uh, Elder Goss here. Right? We are down to the very last Pokemon on each side, and the uh, last Pokemon is a Cherubi. It's like, okay, Cherubi, well, I won't be able to go for a Grassy Glide. But then I was like, wait, I can go for Facade because that Lilypup paralyzed me. That's going to double the base power of Facade, which is, that's going to be clutch, right? So uh, Cherubi's going to go for a Sunny Day here, and I'm thinking right now, well, Facade's going to do a fair bit to this thing. Maybe they're... Maybe they're sashed or they're ever lighted. I, I, I don't really know right now. So go for facade and it doesn't take it out. It managed to live. It didn't have ever light and it, it, did, it didn't even have a sash. It had a berry. So it's a bulky set. So it's a citrus berry uh, to Ruby right there. And that just shows you how about uh, like Elder Goss's attacks that is, right? So getting some more help back there. I've used Dynamax. My opponent hasn't. So I'm thinking this turn is probably going to be Dynamax to Ruby. But I did do a lot of damage. So I'm feeling good about this right now. I should be able to go for Facade. And then Grassy Glide should finish it off there, right? Because I know that I'm going to get, uh, you know, I outsped because I'm paralyzed. So here we go, people. Uh, we got Dynamax to Ruby. Only on Pim Night Show. You won't see this content anymore. Like, if this video didn't deserve a like, it sure does now for seeing this amazing content. Like, this Cherubi, like, you, this should feed you for a long time, right? Like, it'll be a very, very long time. When you, when, let's say you look at the trainer, right? Like, you, you can't even fit, like, I don't know, like, a hundred of them in your mouth. So we got the Max Flare coming off where the balls are. Like, Uh-oh. And that one shot of my Elder Goss with a, crit with a critical hit. So it turned out that in the end, the Cherubi was just way too strong, people. And uh, that, my friends, is the very first battle. Thank you for the battle, Cooper. A very, uh, very troll team right there. I like that. It was all like little baby Pokemon. Let's get on to the next battle. This is a battle against uh, Champion. And we've got a 4v4 here. Now, this is kind of interesting. There are a couple of Pokemon in the team preview for this battle, right? That I was very, very scared of. So, like, I wonder if these are... You know, gonna be brought into this battle, right? Now, the first Pokemon is Onyx, which was uh, kind of unexpected because uh, my whole team is uh, strong against Onyx. Now, I'd say Onyx is either gonna be setting something up like Stealth Rock or just full out attacking me with its mighty attack stat. Okay, well, I got options here. I can go for a Sing, I could go for a Leaf Tornado. I decide to Sing to the Onyx, right? Uh, Onyx is gonna go for a Stealth Rock, and that is going to get rid of my Focus Sash on my Gossifleur, but uh, the thing is, I knew that would probably happen, so I decided to uh, lead with it, which worked out really good. Now, Singer's got to land, which is amazing. That Singer animation was really cool, because like the Gossifleur was just like floating in the air. I guess it's sort of like, you know, like, um, oh, there's these plants. Like, well, I forgot what they're called. They're not plants, they're like, you know, you got like, you see them on lawn a lot, right? And they're like, uh, they're almost like a uh, an Elder Goss. Uh, I forgot what they're called. They've got a long little stem and then all the, the little spores on the top, like the little um, cotton things, and they fly off of the... A, is it a dandelion? I can't remember what it is. It might be a dandelion. I, 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 I forgot the name. It might be that. But they got all those little things on there. Sort of remind me of that flying in the breeze. So Onyx is going to live one health there. The merch is available, by the way. It's going to wake up, which is unexpected. And uh, Stone Edge is going to land right there doing some solid damage from my Goss Flare. I'm going to go for a solid Leaf Tornado here. And that is the uh, end of old Onyx there. So that's one Pokemon down. It's a solid start to the battle, right? A very, very solid start. 
Now, the next Spyco, which absolutely scared the hell out of me, was Aerodactyl. I was like, how am I going to beat this? Like, what can I even do to this, right? This is going to take me out with flying moves, like, easy peasy, right? Like, easy. I've got Leaf Tornado. I've got Sing. I'm, I'm thinking Stun Spore. Like, what, what can I do? So I went for Stun Spore. I was like, maybe this will power. Like, maybe I can live this, right? And now it's going to go for a GLT. Like, right? okay. Now it's easy going to take out, like, all of my Pokemon because it's got, like, a... It's already got a huge speed stat, right? So I uh, go for the Stun Spore. I was kind of curious what they were running on this team. Maybe they'll... It's interesting why they run agility. Maybe they're like max health and max attack. And I thought, okay, I'll make this Aerodactyl bulky. And I'll have max attack. And then I'll just go for agility. So the problem is that when it went for agility, right, it actually got rid of the Thunder Wave uh, speed drop there. Which is very unfortunate. And now it's going to be able to go for a dual wing bit. It's like I, they knew that I had Thunder Wave or some sort of scummy move like that, right? Next Pokemon I got is the Gossifer. And I was like, okay, well, this is the only chance I've got here. I need to be able to tank this Aerodactyl out, and I've got to get a, uh, a Leech Seed up. I would have loved the Poison Powder, but, you know, it is what it is. So now I'm going to get a Lucky Paralysis on the very first one, which is great. And now I can get a free and easy uh, Leech Seed up on Aerodactyl. So I'm going to need to be able to take Aerodactyl out just purely with Leech Seed and a little bit of Giga Drain here. Now, as mentioned, I am running a physical set, and I was hoping this wasn't like a troll. For once, I was hoping it wasn't a troll special set, right? Because I was going to get absolutely like dominated. So here comes Iron Head here uh, on the Gosford. It doesn't do a lot of damage for me. I tank it very, very well. And Giga Drain does really, really impressive damage there to Aerodactyl. So I got a crit, which is great. That's going to get me all the way back up to full health there after the Leech Seed recovery, which is wonderful now. So I'm expecting the flying type move, the dual wing beat from the Aerodactyl. Where they'll try to flinch me there, you know, with the Iron Head. But I'm way too bulky for that. They're going to need to hit me with a harder move. You know, if they want to take out my little Gossifleur here, right? So I was waiting for them to make the move. Here comes the dual wing beat. Look at how well... Everlight Gossifleur lives those attacks. When you look at it right, that is a three hit KO after Giga Drain and Leech Seed damage, which is amazing. Aerodactyl was already on like a little bit of health there. That crit from the Giga Drain at the start, like really helped me put, uh, you know, Aerodactyl into range right here. So all I got to do is survive the next turn there. I feel like if I get critted, I'm done. But if it was just the damage from before, like the normal damage, I'm fine. Like I can easy this. And I'm like, wait. I can go for my favorite healing move here, right? Live the Aerodactyls here and then, you know, be at almost like full health again. So here comes the first one. Here comes the second one. I lived on 25 health. Easy, like, easy live there. So bulky Gossifleur absolutely saves me there. So maybe if you want to have a bit of a, you know, interesting, fun Pokemon to try out that's not mainstream, give uh, ever like Gossifleur a 10. It's also got a Regenerator too, so you can swap it in and out and get your health back, which is, you know, an amazing ability for a, uh, you know, bulky Pokemon. Pokemon or bulky defensive Pokemon or to support Pokemon. It's really awesome. Next Pokemon is Rhyperior. So it's funny, right? This team has a really good Pokemon uh, against this team. Then it's got a really like uh, bad Pokemon, which can be counted easily by the team. Speaking of like any grass. Or so I went for the Giga Drain here. It's going to pop a Mega. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to live this. And I did. That dominated me. Like Rhyperior's attack stat is very, very high. It would have been interesting to see though. If I could have lived that attack on full health. I believe I would have lived it on full health then. Next Pokemon is, of course, the Elder Goss here. I really don't want to get hit by a Mega Horn here. So, so something's got to give here, people. Now, I, I could go for Grassy Glide. But I, I'm a little bit scared that it might not take it out due to Solid Rock. And, you know, Rhyperior is really good defensive. So, I think I'm going to need the power of Dynamax to not only uh, boost my bulk. But to boost the damage of uh, that move as well. Then that'll be really good, right? Because that'll set the grassy terrain up on the on like on the field. Then, then you know maybe uh, maybe I can go for grassy glides if I can somehow you know uh, live the next couple of turns of Dynamax, right? So here it goes, people. Eldegoss is going to actually be able to outspeed the right here, which is great. I I was hoping for a Mega Horn miss or like minimum damage there, and right here is going to get dropped. It's done. It's gone, which is very very good. Now, that's the grassy terrain on the field, which is nice. So that's going to make my attacks a lot more powerful, you know, than they were before, too. So bye-bye, Rhyperia. It was real. It was unreal, but on appeal. Now, we got one more Pokemon left here. And this Pokemon is going to be Tyranitar. So it was... All wait, wait. This is almost like a rock Pokemon team, too. Like, it's like a uh, like a, a mono, like, rock team or, like, all rock Pokemon, which is uh, it's pretty cool right there. So I've got Max Overgrowth. I've got Max Stripe. I'm thinking right here, if Tyranitar outspeeds me, that will be annoying. But maybe I should make the most of Max Overgrowth now, right? Why I've got the, uh, 
you know, the terrain on the field. Now, I'm not sure whether this is going to have weakness policy or not, but I had to go for that move. I had absolutely nothing to lose here. And I also still had my other special Elder Goss in the back, too. I could, I could you know, slide it in and go for a... Uh, a good old uh, rock weather ball to do one damage. So we're going to go for the max overgrowth right now. Outspeeding the Tyranitar, which is very, very good right there. And it, look at the damage it did. That's very, very impressive. Now, Tyranitar is going to go for a max hailstorm. Uh, I don't know. I'd say this is coming off like Ice Punch. I took it very, very well there, which is going to mean Eldegoss doesn't have bad defensive stats there either, right? So the Sandstorm is going to go, and the Hail is going to fall, and Cotton Down is going to come into effect. That's also why I didn't go for Max Strike, because I also had Cotton Down uh, helping with, uh, you know, any speed that I had too there, right? So Taranto is going to be able to, if it has Max Guard, it might be able to get around this, but if it doesn't, I can easy take it out with another Max Overgrowth at this stage. And they obviously don't have a status move to use, and the Max Overgrowth is going to take out the Taranto. And that, my friends, is the second battle with the Mono Rock Team. That Aerodactyl was very, very scary, though. If I didn't have Gossifer, I was done. Like, Jewel Wing Beat would have swept my whole team. Uh, thank you for the battle, champion. And I hope you enjoyed both these battles. I'll catch you next time, people. Peace out.